So I wanted to tell you guys a quick story. I was going through my camera roll and I came across this picture. There's a selfie that I took on a night when I had taken my friend out to her first drag show and me and my narcissistic ex took her and all the pictures of him are deleted, but I kept the pictures of me and my friend and there was a selfie that I took I completely forgot about. And I remember that night that my ex was either taking a picture of me or with me. I don't remember that detail, but I just remember at one point he stopped and he was like, I can't find an angle that you don't look chunky in. And now keep in mind, at the time I did weigh about 40 pounds heavier than I do right now, but first of all, you just don't say that to your partner. And second of all, he also knew about my body image issues and my insecurity issues. And so I didn't even say anything. I just made this face and it clearly was like, I can't believe you just said that kind of face. And he just stopped and because of course we're there in front of my friend and he was like, no, I, did, I didn't mean it that way. Like I just, I know how insecure you are. He knew exactly what he was doing. And it's just funny because hindsight's always twenty twenty, And I now know that he had already been cheating on me for a month at that point in time and his emotional abuse and his rage episodes and just every, all, all the things, they were gradually increasing over the next five months until I finally left him. And sometimes a narcissist or toxic person, manipulative, whatever, sometimes they're not gonna tell you that they're done with you, but they're sure as hell gonna show you that they're done with you. And my narcissistic ex, his MO, is the victim and how people always abandon him and people always leave him and you know he's the one that's always constantly screwed over and all this and all that so my ex was never gonna leave me but he put me in a position to force a discard on him and what i mean by that is is he increased all of the things that he knew i was not going to tolerate much longer and i left him and it created his mo and literally started posting everything on Facebook and all that stuff about him being abandoned and like all this stuff. And I just, I want to tell you guys this because we always say that actions speak louder than words. But if you were anything like me, and at that time in my life, I was very wrapped up in what people thought of me and what people's opinions of me were. And it really bothered me that he was saying the things that he said because they weren't true. But the reality of the situation is they are going to say whatever they want to say to create their story. It doesn't matter how long you put up with the abuse. It doesn't matter how many times you try to save it. It doesn't matter even if you're nice after the breakup and don't even go no contact right away and all of that, because that's what I did. They are gonna say whatever they wanna say and they are gonna do whatever they wanna do regardless of how not nice or not nice you are. Don't keep choosing them. Choose you. Choose you every time. Because now being on the other side of that and seeing where my life is at now, I am so grateful that I chose myself. It may have taken me some time, but you know it is better late than never. Choose you.